Okay, so welcome back to the Vinnie G channel one more time, and I've decided to do the tear down video of the flash. So, here we go. Okay, so, uh, that was a bit of a muck around. We need this for the simple reason that there's a safety device on this where this has to be pushed in for the power to be transferred to go up to the capacitor. As you can see, the two power connectors are on the case here, so six AA batteries go in here. I'm going to hot melt glue this to that. Bear in mind that this capacitor is fully decharged, right? So I'm going to terminate. I will terminate the smaller flash unit. I'll test the power on it. I'll I'll see if I've got some batteries, and um, we'll have a go. Okay, so welcome back once again. So I've ripped the guts out of the flash. Uh, quite in a bit of a dangerous predicament here. I've just lit my last cigarette in case it's the last one I have. I've just made my last cup of coffee. Hey, you never know. And I've got no way to bleed out this capacitor. So, okay. I'm just going to try it on the board here, on these two points. Um, I'll just show you. I don't want to touch too much around here. Okay. So I'm just going to do a multimeter test on these two points here and you'll see the results off the multimeter and why camera flashes whew, are actually dangerous to play with and why they'll be good for a mouse trap. Okay, so I'm going to put the protectors on my shitty multimeter probes. So here we go. Okay, three amps. I'm happy with that. Three hundred and eighty one volts. You can see why camera flashes are dangerous to play with. Oh, look at that massive power! Very happy with that. So, that's the camera, all the guts of it stripped. I'm actually enjoying my cigarette now, but I'm not enjoying the fact that I can't bleed the capacitor because I don't have any way to bleed the capacitor so I'll just take some batteries out this is just a push switch which is a copper wire that's a bit of copper plate that's bent up and makes contact on another copper section that triggers the whole sequence so I'll be soldering ripping this this plate out soldering two wires to it and that will actually go to the relay on the Arduino trap so anyway, guys, I seriously highly recommend that you don't do this. You've seen the voltage on the multimeter. I can't emphasize how much this is dangerous. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget, on the bottom, like and subscribe.